Hi, uh, today I'm going to be drawing the tomb of B.B. Jawindi, uh, Islamic Geometric Pattern from Eric Brogue's book, Islamic Geometric Patterns. I've got the design up on screen and we're going to be turning that into this pattern. Okay, so let's get on with it. Uh, as normal, I'm going to start with a artboard that is 1200 by 1200 pixels. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure snap to grid is selected and show the grid. And draw a square that is a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. Let's remove the fill from that and just make the stroke 0.5 thick. And I'm going to draw a circle that is a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels in the square. I'm just going to select, click on both of those shapes to make sure they are the correct size and they're sitting in the middle of the artboard, which they both are. And we, our next thing is to draw a set of lines to intersect the circle. So those were our first lines. I'm going to copy and paste them and rotate them by 45 degrees. And I'm just going to extend these to the edge of the artboard. So this is one of the more difficult um, designs and patterns from the book. Um, it's the second to last uh, design in the book, so I'm guessing it's the sort of second to last more difficult um, design to draw. But yeah, we'll kind of take it bit by bit and hopefully it will all be good from there. So the next line, uh, so the next set of lines, I copy and paste the diagonal lines that we've drawn and then rotate them by 15 degrees. And then I'm going to paste the lines again and rotate by minus 15 degrees. And from there we draw, I'm going to take the snap to grid off. Yeah, this snap function does get a bit weird. So what I'm going to do, because it, if you can see it's not letting me snap to the circle at any point, even though I've got snap to object geometry, snap to key points and snap to object bounding boxes selected um i've noticed it does uh, well it has a weird sort of behavior one thing i found that kind of helps is if you group the shapes then it starts to behave again so this is the next line we're drawing intersecting these two points here and again, take it to the edge of the artboard, top to bottom. And the next line I'll draw is the same one on the opposite side. And again, extend that top to bottom. So I'm just going to have a look at this line and it is 1200 pixels tall and it sits on the y-axis well it sits in the middle of the y-axis as does that line so we're just going to take these two lines uh, copy and paste them i'm going to rotate by 60 i'm going to paste again and rotate by 120. okay now just going to drop these into the group and one thing I find that helps with 
um, sort of keeping the snap behaving normally is once you've dropped everything into the group, if you select it all and then deselect it, uh, as you saw before, you saw those purple lines come up. Um, that when you see all those purple lines, it kind of, in some sort of way, it is just, um, yeah, the lines tend to behave after those kind of lines flash purple after you deselect them. So, yeah, let's go ahead and draw our next line, which is a triangle intersecting these points. We'll just close that triangle off. And we're going to draw a circle next. But we're going to measure the radius of the circle first from the center of the artboard to this intersection point here. And looking at the height down here, you can see it's 250 pixels. I'll just delete that line. So our circle is going to be 500 pixels by 500 pixels. And I'm just going to center that using the alignment tools here. Yeah, so the next line we draw is going to intersect the circle from here at this point and the same on that side. And here. So I'm just going to extend these to the edge of the artboard again. And once we've done that, we're going to take those two lines that we've just drawn and we're going to copy and paste them and rotate them 90 degrees. I'm going to take those lines and the original lines that we copy and pasted from, uh, copy and paste those. and rotate them thirty degrees and copy and paste that line, those lines even, and rotate them thirty degrees. Okay. Okay, so those are the lines so far. As you can see it's getting quite busy already. Um, like as I said, this is one of the um, more difficult uh, patterns to draw. So if we just select everything, deselect it, yeah. So the next line we draw is just going to measure the radius of our next circle. What I'm going to do, just going to select all the lines, make them a little bit thinner. So make them point too thick and I'm going to lock this group we just select off okay so measure from this line to this line deselect it And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring that down to zero. And we can see the length is 183 pixels. So our circle is going to be 366 uh, pixels. So yeah, we using that line, we measured the radius of the circle and the diameter is going to be 366 pixels and I'm just going to position that 100 pixels in as that's where our square begins and I'm just going to put that in the middle of the page at 600 pixels. Now I'm going to copy and paste this circle 
to 1100 pixels on the x-axis as that's where the circle ends on the other side. I'm going to take these two circles and copy and paste them and rotate them. If we zoom out those are lines we need so far. Okay. So our next circle is going to be from well it's going to intersect this line Okay, it's playing up again. Just a moment. Let me unlock the layer, select everything, and deselect everything. Yeah, it's weird that it needs that for it to lock in to the um, intersection points again. But yeah, that's that's how it is, I guess. So that's the line we draw. If we measure that, we can see it's 134 pixels long. I'm just going to delete that. And that means our circle needs to be 268. 268. Oh, sorry. Um, let me delete that for the time being. And let's bring the line back. Um, we're going to drop the circle on this point here, which is 917 pixels, um, well, which is um, 917 on the x-axis and 600 on the y-axis. So if we just remember that number, uh, let's just create the circle again. The circle was oh, going to be... 268 by 268 and it was going to be on 916 by 600 okay so yeah if we take that off and just zoom in a little bit we can see the um, the circle intersects at the point that we want it to okay so the next line we're going to draw is from the center of the artboard to the edge of the circle that we've just drawn. Let's select that line and we can see it's 451 pixels, which means the next circle we're going to draw is 902 pixels. Well, it's a diameter of 902 pixels let's center that and that should sit exactly on the point yeah perfect let's drop that in and we've just got two more lots of construction lines well we've just got some more construction lines and that's uh, so this construction line is going to come from the edge of this circle here to this point here. Again, it's not snapping, so I'm just going to select everything, deselect it, and yeah, there you go. So it's going to come from the edge of the circle to this point here. Let's extend that. To make sure this line seeing zero on the x-axis and zero on the y-axis which is good and then we're going to take that we're going to go from that same point to the edge of this circle
and again extend that to the edge of the artboard. Again, that's yeah, zero on the y axis and zero on the y axis there. Yeah, no, sorry, zero on the x axis and zero on the y axis. Excellent. Now, I could just copy and paste that line, but I'm going to draw the opposite side first and then just copy and paste it once. So again, just extend the line to the edge. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, that's sitting 1200. Um, yeah, and 1200. And this line is sitting 1200 and 1200. Excellent. So let's grab these four lines that we've just drawn copy and paste and rotate uh, clockwise or counterclockwise and that should put everything um, let's just lock that for a second and then select everything yeah that looks like everything's good so those are all our construction lines it's looking quite busy and quite intricate um, yeah luckily the design lines that we're going to draw aren't as intricate as this um they're a little more straightforward but that still doesn't mean you know we we don't have to pay close attention as the lines yes yeah, so it's quite a lot of design lines we don't want to kind of draw over the wrong design lines i have done that a couple of times in the past um and it's a bit long-winded when you have to go through and redraw everything again um, so I'm just going to make this red for our design line I'm going to make the stroke red for our design line uh, make it one point thick for the moment and our first design line starts at the top of uh, one second Let's uh, select everything, deselect it, yeah. I'm going to leave that group, uh, the, this time I'm going to leave the um, the construction lines uh, layer unlocked. So we're going to start at the top of the sort of smaller circle, if you want. And then we're going to come across to this point on the circle and then this point on the circle and then the right hand side of the circle this point here on the circle this point here on the circle the bottom of the circle the this point here this point here and the left hand side of the circle and this point here this point here which it is yeah let's make sure that first of all just make sure this sits in the center of the page which it does of the artboard just make sure that is flush against the edge which it is Okay, I'm going to copy and paste this shape, uh, rotate it 90 degrees and take that to the top, right, 
that's just a little bit off so yeah let's take these two shapes copy and paste them uh, flip them vertically and snap them to the bottom of the artboard it's a little bit off so going to take some of these let's uh, let's snap to page layouts for the moment just so a bit more comfortable with the way everything is snapping yeah and let's just check this shape up here and this shape up here yeah so that's all in the right place okay i'm actually going to hide these lines for the moment while we draw the next lines so the next line let's uh, select Sorry, let's go to object creation. Uh, why is it not? There you go. So, yeah. In fact, I think I will show these lines for the moment. Our next line. basically stops at this point here um, okay why is this not coming up snap to object geometry that's why that wasn't selected yet okay so I'm going to start at this point come up along this line and if we zoom in a little bit you can see there's three lines intersecting in in this area here we want to make sure that we drop our node on the kind of left line if you like which is um, the end of the line there so then we will come over to this point here just before the um it's oh, decided to not behave okay i'm going to start that line again let's select that click off it i'm going to start with this point here so we start from the top here which is the sort of left of the this little group of three lines here come across to this line at the top of the screen we're going to come down to this line here we're going to come across to this line here or this intersection point and it has just decided to stop snapping to that point what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place the node off the point and close the shape. I'm just going to select the construction lines, click off it, and then using the node tool, I'm just going to snap it into place by hand, if you like. Okay, so we can just make sure, take the pen tool. Grab your shape, make sure it sits on the uh, it sits on zero on the y axis. Just gonna zoom in a little bit. Yeah, 
looks good. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste this shape. I'm going to flip it horizontally. Then I'm going to snap it into place. Well, I think we're going to have to do. Is that in place? I'll tell you what, we'll look at this where this sits on the X axis and just compare that to where this sits on the X axis. So that's well, what we can do. We can grab these two. Put that in the middle. It should sit on 600. So yeah, it looks like it has snapped into place. I'm just going to try that again. Yeah, it does look as if it snapped into place. Okay, I've got those two shapes selected. I'm going to copy and paste them and flip them vertically. I'm going to bring them down to the bottom of the page. And it looks like they're snapping into place, but we'll just make sure. Uh, yeah, so we're in the middle on the x-axis and we're at the edge on the y-axis so i'm good with that let's select these four shapes and copy and paste them and just rotate them 90 degrees yeah that looks like our design I'm just going to lock the construction line group and select all our shapes and it does look as if we've got quite an even 1200 by 1200 square shape um, that sits exactly in the middle of the artboard okay so now we're going to divide the shapes so that we can extract our design from them so i'm going to show grid i've just snapped a grid and i'm going to draw our thousand pixel by thousand pixel um, like design size if you like just gonna select everything fill everything in in black hide the grid uh, select everything again hit divide and that is our shape that is our design in the middle there let's select a thousand pixel by a thousand pixel square cut that out select everything else delete it uh, paste it back into the middle we're just going to go in and tidy up some of these shapes um, if i select this shape you can see there's a node that kind of a spare node if you like which i'm just going to delete uh, looking at the layers window here there's this line that just sort of sits on its own you don't need that this shape has a spare node here this isn't necessarily going to be the same with your um design once you cut it out i mean it can yeah i mean like I think like I've said in other videos as much as you think it's going to be quite accurate because it's a computer um, it is, It's a computer calculating the the measurements um, and where everything's going to divide it, it does seem like it's quite random at times so Yeah, we have to go in and kind of delete some of the random nodes by hand 
which is fine. I mean, I like I said, I've had to do this in like uh, Infinity Design. I've had to do it in Photoshop, uh, not Photoshop, Illustrator. So it seems like it's just quite normal for like these vector based or these vector graphic softwares to behave in this way. I mean, I'm not sure why it's so inaccurate and why, you know, Affinity or Adobe, um, yeah, can't make it more accurate considering where we're at with things technologically, but I'm sure it's for a good reason. It's just going through and getting the last of these. Yeah, that looks like it's everything. Yeah, so I'm just gonna color this in now. Um, I'll just make this line white. I just have a quick look at the color scheme I went with before. So I'm going to try and get all the white shapes first. So it's this one, this one. those in white. Yeah. Looking good. All these will be dark blue. Seventy-five. So one hundred cyan and seventy-five magenta, and then these remaining black shapes are going to be a hundred cyan and twenty-five yellow. Yeah. So if I select everything from there, remove the line. That's our. That's our design. It's quite nice. Um, yeah, and we'll go ahead and turn that into a pattern. So I'm going to save this as the tomb of BB Joe in the design video. I did select everything, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Open a new artboard that is 2000 by 3000 pixels paste that in um, I'm going to have snap to layouts with objects selected for the moment so yeah put that in the top corner paste it in again oh. paste it in again line that up yeah that's looking good just zoom in a little bit oh what are we doing yeah let's zoom in and let's add the shapes together all right so that one didn't add neither did that neither did that and neither did that that's interesting Zoom in once more. It does look as if there's a teeny gap in those. Let's go ahead and undo all of that. I'm just gonna delete that. So what have we got? Yes, a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. Let's paste that in. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that is sitting in the right place. Try that again. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. One thing I forgot to do on one of the other goes was snap these white shapes, uh, add these white shapes together. Let's copy and paste that. Zoom in. So just for the sake of accuracy, I'm gonna bring that into place using the transform window. Just zoom in and add these shapes together. I mean, you don't really need to do this. Um, if you're not going to use an outline, but I just thought I'd do it as we've been doing it on the other uh, designs and patterns. So yeah, I just thought I'd oh, keep things uniform if you like. And then paste that one more time. Oh, let's undo that. Undo, undo. Okay, so that's selected. Let's drag that to the bottom. Again, I'm going to use the transform window to bring it all together. I'm actually just going to delete these shapes. Yeah, that's all of them. I'm just going to take this row of shapes here. Copy and paste them. Down to oh, down to him. They should quite nicely just snap into place. Yep. And that is the pattern uh, for the BB, the Tomb of BB Jawindi design. Just going to quickly save that. Excellent. Yeah. Um, Thanks for watching again. And yeah, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, yeah, thanks again. Take care. Bye bye.